Big surprise for a family in need here in San Diego. Holiday Heather teamed up with the Rock Church to deliver gifts right before Christmas. Well, I have been out and about for the holidays looking for all the fun things to do, but now it is time to do exactly what this season is meant for, and it is to gift someone Christmas, the meaning of the season and what we're here for at the Rock Church. You know, you and I, Pastor Miles, we do this every year, and I think for the past five years, you guys are dressed up. You're ready for the holidays. A lot of people think about boxes and bags and all of that stuff, but really it's about being with the people that you love and helping others, and that's what you guys are focused on. We're focused on that today. We have a special, as you know, what's going to happen today, but Sunday Sunday we have our Christmas Eve services at all of our campuses and Friday, Saturday we have a Christmas special right here at Point Loma, which is a creative expression of, the, of what happened with Mary when she said, how can it be that I'm pregnant? And it's called, how can it be? And we're going to present that question to people Friday and Saturday at the Christmas special here. You guys work really hard year round on getting everything ready for Christmas and inviting everybody from the community to come out. Now this surprise that we do, I worked pretty hard on as well and I know both of us have. We found a few families that, you know, as a mom and as someone who has, has learned about their stories, I just said, I, I just want to help. I just want to do that. And so thank you for letting me do that. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure. And, and you know, in all the numbers and all the crowds, they're all individual people and they're all individual families. And that's why this is special to be able to bless one individual family at a time. And the way that we found the mom that we are going to surprise today is that Trini actually, she volunteers and works really hard at the church, works with Pastor Sam. Yeah. Thanks for being on with us today. Um, a lot of people in the news know about what happened to Trini because yeah. her house burnt down mm -hmm. December 8th. They lost everything. Trini was living there with several family members mm -hmm. in her house. She lost two dogs as well. Tell me yeah. the story. Yeah, so uh, Trini, like you mentioned, she's been serving our church for a little over eight years. And two weeks ago, her house burned down completely. Uh, her mom, her niece, and her two, her two dogs lived with them. And unfortunately, the two dogs didn't make it. And she lost absolutely everything. So what's going on now? So we're uh, walking her through just everything she needs to feel and everything her family needs to feel. But right now, she's currently living with her daughter. So her, yeah. her niece, her mother are currently with her daughter right now. And, and you told me Christmas doesn't look like much this year, that they're just hoping to be able to be with each other. Yeah, so um, we, were, we were just talking earlier, and, and she says it just hits her in waves, and um, especially during a time of year where it's supposed to be joyful, um, sometimes it's hard. And so yeah. we're, we're so excited to be able to bless her and, and bless her family as okay. well. We have to try not to cry. We've gotten them a lot of stuff, okay? We have found so many partners to help us to do groceries, to do gifts. She has a grandson that lives with them. She has an elderly mother that she's helping. Mm -hmm. so should we go surprise training? She thinks she's just here to help out with volunteering. She has no idea what we're gonna do, Sam, both of us. Are, we're, there's not gonna, we're gonna cry. Is there, hi, is there a woman named Trini here? Is there, are you Trini? Yes. Trini. I know that I'm not sure if you wanted to be on TV today or not, but um, we have a little bit of a surprise for you. I'm Heather. Hi, nice to meet you from Fox 5. Um, how has the last month been for you? I feel like probably not the way that you're wanting the holidays to go. No, not at all. We want to help out. I know that you are trying to figure out where home is and that you're caring for not only your grandson, who else is in your house right now or, or where you're living, who's with you right now? So all together with six of us in the house, my daughter's two bedroom house is my mom, my niece, myself, uh, my daughter, my son-in-law and my grandson. You show up for others all the time. So you know what we wanted to do is we wanted to show up for you, Trini. Can you follow me? We've got a little bit of a surprise for you. Go ahead. <laughs> I love a good surprise. Come on, guys. Let's come out here and show you guys. So we thought maybe, maybe just maybe something that would help is to get you a Christmas meal, right? And maybe just maybe a month of groceries. Okay. Would that help out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But maybe just maybe... We play Santa, and we bring your whole entire Christmas. What? <laughs> Come here. Come take a look. So we know that the grandson and the 17-year-old lost all of her yeah. makeup. You lost all of your clothing. You lost everything. So these boxes are full of everything that you need and maybe a little bit of what you want, too. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Trini, you deserve this and the world, and we know that you have been through so much, but we just want you to know how much you mean to this community and to the family members that you're helping and to never stop believing, okay? Because you are working overtime. Oh, I, <laughs> I, know, I know God has me every day, and 
He's show, he shows us every single day. We've been blessed every single day after that. So I, I know I'm, I'm okay. I know I'm okay. It's a lot of lessons learned. I'm humble and being able to get help. Yeah. They be, everyone who knows me, I don't ask for help. I just go. Yeah. I do what needs to be done, and that's it. Yeah. Well, we're here to help. Thank you. Even if you don't ask for it. I know. This is what you get. Come look at everything that you got, sister. So we wanted you to know that Yosakochi Farms, they're doing farm boxes once a week. So if you like cooking, you can get into that. Just awesome bedding and stuff. So no matter where you are while you're figuring things out, you'll always have a warm blanket and a robe to cuddle up when it's getting colder outside. I heard that your mother loves gardening. Yes. So we got her a few things. And then all of these toys for your little grandson. Oh, <laughs> He's gonna love that. Those boxes are full of clothing for you guys so that everyone can just feel good about, you know, getting back to work, getting back to life, doing all the things that, that you love doing. And then there's some makeup for a 17 year old that I think, I think I did a pretty good job doing the makeup. <laughs> She'll love that. Um, She'll love that. And I that. also want you to know that Panera, they do um, a sharing of the mana, the mana and sharing the dough. And they are giving you guys tons of gift cards to go eat, to go enjoy. And don't worry about all of the stress of things and to just be able to do that. Walmart has gifted you so many things, gift cards, Visa, all of that. So you guys are taking care of this is this is us helping you because you help others all the time so don't worry you know that, that God sees everything you've done and he hasn't forgotten you and he's gonna take care of you I know I know I truly know that <laughs> we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas from the Rock Church thank you and guys. Fox 5 thank you thank all you, right thank you <laughs>